Sharks. Sharks. I'm Alicia. And I'm her husband, Dane. And we're from Columbus, Ohio. Sharks. I've been making plant-based milks at home for years. But let me tell you, it's better than the alternative. Store-bought milks. Many plant-based milks in store are filled with preservatives, gum fillers, and processed sugars. Isn't that nuts? We knew there had to be a more sustainable and easier way to make plant-based milk at home. And that's why we created Nutter. Nutter. Our Nutter machine can make plant-based milks in minutes, all with just a push of a button. Simply add some nuts, water, and other ingredients of your choice into your Nutter machine, and after a few minutes of blending, voila, here's your clean and nutritious plant-based milk. Okay, sharks, we know this may sound a little nutty, but we're asking for $500,000. In exchange for 5% of Nutter. Ooh, whoa, sharks, right. what the French toast? Who's ready to change the way we milk for a better future? Please check out the Nutter machines for yourselves wow okay that's a huge valuation there um the 20 times five is at uh 10 million dollars pretty sure it's 10 million dollars anyway uh maybe i'm wrong i could be wrong i'm doing this all the top of my head um all right anyway we we've seen this with new milk right but that was uh in the store i thought they had a, a home home option too uh Oh, wow. You know, I just noticed uh, real quick, uh, <laughs> there's a skull as a uh, cufflink on, uh, Mr. I assume that's Mr. Wonderful's hand there. That's uh, interesting. Interesting uh, cufflink there. Anyway, huge valuation. Hopefully, it got sales. Hopefully, they have uh, a decent profit margin baked in. Hopefully, they got some distribution already so they can grab that 500000 and run. Now, I personally have never tried nut milk before. Uh well, I guess I've had almond milk once, maybe once or twice ever. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't, I think it was by accident, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I mean, I don't drink a whole lot of milk, uh, but I, I think that they're having an option for people, uh, if it's the right price and, and it's not too hard to make, uh, I think is could be really cool. So we're going to find out what, uh, what it takes to make some, uh, nutter milk and we're uh, also going to check out their website, social media at the end, and feature one of your comments from down below in the super community at the end. So let's go. Daniel, why don't you come up here and uh, give it a try? Okay. Yeah, and uh, in front of you, you'll also find plain almond milk and oat milk, as well as strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, and matcha, all made with our proprietary nut blends. So, so we put in... Yep, put absolutely. Milk. Okay, so I'm gonna put in. Uh, yep, put in one scoop. Whoa, Absolutely. This is good. And then how much water? The whole cup. You can put the whole cup. Okay, so we close yep. it. Yep. And then I tried every single one, and they all taste very pure and clean. Wow. Um, if you just push one button. Okay. And so you let it go. Yes. It stops by itself. Stops Correct. by itself. Oh, yeah. it is very creamy. Very creamy. That quick. Wow. No, no, so, Daniel, how does this taste? You know, what I love about this is the store brands, you're tasting sugar. This, you taste purely the cashew. What do you sell these for? And what does it cost you to make them? So, we make them for uh, $42 each. And what do you sell them for? We sell them for $169. So, oh. you have a great margin. All right. Yeah, it's about 73% gross margin. Are you selling, margin. You're selling it direct to consumer or to retail or so, both? Mostly 90% of our sales are through web, our website. So um, awesome. I noticed in this box here, you have all these different things that make the drink flavors we just tried. Absolutely. Correct. Tell us the numbers there for your... What, what Nutter you... blends. Yeah, so for bi-weekly subscription is start at $45, and then monthly is $75. What? Per month. Wait, wait. Per month. I can't stand the tension. Wow. What, are you, what did you sell last year? We finished a year with $793,000 in sales. Wow. Was there a Kickstarter involved? Or? No. no. Okay, wow. okay. what about this okay. year? What are you going to do? Uh, so far, close to $2 million. We are on track for $6 million Okay, so $2 million wow. so far this year. So how did you do that? Did you spend a wow. lot of money on advertising, or what did you do to build community Sir, and drive your sales? Influencer marketing. And how much did you spend on advertising, promotion, and influencer marketing? Yeah, so you, uh, for the past 12 months, we've done uh, spend on marketing for $1.3 million. Whoa. Did you raise Ooh. any money? No. We bootstrapped. We've put in about half a million dollars. Yes. Got you're it. All, you're all wow. in. Wow. 
So here, you guys, I'll tell you what I think. I think that there are always people that like another gadget that help to make their morning coffee experience something experiential and better. I have one of those things that froths your milk, but the problem with me is I love it and I never use it. And so unfortunately, I'm out. I think she got the she got the barber bug there because that isn't that they have heard barbers say that like I get these things and then I never use them or my husband buys all these these things and then I have to hide them I hide them on him because you know I don't want it hanging out in the kitchen or whatever it's too ugly um, yeah I mean that, that I I think that's I uh, I. For a while there, I was making uh, like smoothies, like with frozen fruit and fr some fresh fruit as well, and a little bit of yogurt. Um, but as I I found out, like, well, you know, it, it, as a once in a while type of thing, it's great because it's, you know, it's it's kind of you know, it's all it's all sugar, right? It's all fruit, uh, bananas, uh, strawberries, uh, pineapple, um, blueberries. Uh, what other I forget what other fruits I would have in there, but uh, you know raspberries. And so, so as the problem is, is is like as an everyday thing, it's probably not the greatest thing I could be uh, taking in every day. Just like I, I don't, I mean, I don't drink coffee, but I, I, I don't think I would want to drink coffee as an all the time, every time thing, or an espresso every time. Like you know, uh, the caffeine intake I take is. Uh, very i try to like use it as a as a tool instead of just a every day i gotta have it because you know what need you know what happens you need it more and more and more you know because your body gets used to it so if you're constantly riding uh, uh up and down roller coaster of of caffeine usage then you're um you're in my opinion you're doing it better uh because you're you're actually going to get more out of the caffeine that you do ingest uh, than just constantly ingesting it every every single day as a as a part of a ritual. So uh, I, I guess I didn't think about this as a you know make the nut milk and use that in your coffee. That's a that's a different way of doing it. Um, Hundred sixty nine dollars doesn't seem doesn't seem bad. I I'm kind of curious as to what the warranty is on these things though. Um, and they've kind of priced themselves in a way because I, I you know probably heard I was thinking like t in the 200 250 range um, which might be a, a bit more ex you know too expensive but um, I still feel like at 169 dollars you're right at that price where I, I'm not gonna get it as a maybe I'll try it product Um you know, may, you know, if it was like more like a hundred dollars, I could see that, but they would be, uh, it would be tough for them, especially with spending 1.3 million in influencer marketing. It works. It's just very pricey. Now with the, having that subscription bot based, based model that might, uh, if they don't have a, a, an attrition rate of people unsubscribing after like two months, three months or four months, uh, I could totally see, uh, a shark being interested here, um, but I don't know. Still at the five hundred thousand for for five percent is uh, it's a little on the high side. Um, probably closer to like fifteen percent for five hundred thousand, maybe twenty. Do you have any debt? Do you have any debt or any investors <laughs> out to invest? With? Uh, we have a creative financing, so we did. Uh, you know, it, it's a Lines. crowdfunding pl platform uh, for. You said you guys said you bootstrapped it. And then you said but you didn't no, do any crowdfunding. No, that's actually a financing option. The oh, crowdfunding is not Indiegogo. Or it's a kick further. They like to only finance your inventory. Okay, oh, it's crowdfunding only for your inventory. How much do you hmm. owe in uh, debt? Uh, a million. Oh. No in outside investors? No. No. So we have a uh, soft circle, about a quarter million from angels. Um, so you we're can't looking... be both. You can't have two hundred fifty thousand dollars from angel investors and say you bootstrap. Yeah, you said you bootstrap. You said you didn't right, have any debt. Right, we still own a hundred percent of the company. That's because it's convertible note. It's convertible right. though. You probably know I invested in New Milk, right? And just personally, New Milk is a big commercial one, right? And they have a countertop one too. Um, and so I like the product a little better, but I'm biased there. So for those reasons, I'm out. Oh wow, that. that's I'm sure I'm sure here. the New Milk guys are gonna get a get a got a phone call after this. Like, yo, you gotta. So let's let's make a product better you know i, I just try i'm i'm here on shark tank and i just tried this product and i like it better um i for, actually i forgot that he invested in new milk uh so you know 
Uh, that's one of the things about this this show, this channel. Uh, this is not a Shark Tank historian channel. I, I do not remember every deal and everything that happens. I'm purely here for the entrepreneurs, the super entrepreneurs, uh, and to to advocate for them. Now, uh, that is, it does sound, a well, I guess it's a little bit misleading, but I, on the positive side, because I like to keep it, I'm trying to be a positive realist here, uh, Alicia knows the numbers. And, you know, not every person, uh, as we saw in the previous video, uh, no polera, um, or yeah, no, pa no polera. I always feel like I'm saying, pronouncing things wrong. Um, she, you know, she didn't know the numbers, uh, and, and yet still got two, two deals. So, I mean, who knows, maybe, uh, even with all of, I mean, it sounds really complex with the amount of money being funded and and pushed in which like realistically this is uh you know probably took a, a bit of research and and care and love to create so and and money <laughs> lots and lots of money uh to make it to make it work so you know if you get this in enough houses households like yeah i could totally see this being uh a thing plus you know the opportunity to make a uh, commercial one that you know that, that could be used uh, commercially in coffee shops and things like that it could be a huge uh, boon you and you sell that for three to five hundred dollars and um, then you you know you can uh, you hey do you want fresh you know nut milk versus uh, kind of like the the fr um, fresh squeezed orange juice uh, at, at, at certain shops offer that and asked for $100,000, and I could have put the whole Chef Wonderful thing behind it and blown it up for you and added so, to social and all that. I'm sorry. Come in here and ask for 100 Appreciate that. If you come in here and ask for $100,000, oh, and I could have put the whole Chef Wonderful thing behind it and blown it up for you and added to the social and all that, then it gets interesting. But $500,000, I have to see a path to liquidity times 10. That's the problem with this pitch. Yeah, I understand that. I'm out. Yeah, I, I appreciate how's that, it. Uh, how's that 5% thing working out right now? Yeah, you got Daniel left in. I'm still talking, though, but I'm talking. Here, here's what I think. You're trying to charge us in what it will be in the future today. And the future is your opinion. You can make up your own opinion, but you cannot make up your own facts. We have to look at the numbers today. You're good people, great product. I'm out. Okay, appreciate the feedback. There's I, I, I don't appreciate the fact that Damon tried to just shame her, uh, shame both of them uh, right there. But, like, how's that 5% working out for you? Um, you know, you you always you're allowed to offer something, David. You don't have to, uh, you know, feel like you have to insult them. Though I, I mean, I guess in a way, uh, a really sharky offer could be seen as insulting, but it would be an offer, um, which is an honor. Not everybody gets an offer, and it's sort of shaping up that way here. But Daniel might have something else in mind, since you know. He has a nut-based brand in <laughs> Kind Bar, one I actually uh, quite enjoy from time to time. One shark left, Daniel. Yeah, so since COVID started, um, people really are conscious about what they put in their body. People want to drink healthy, and then really people are willing to pay Let a premium. Let me just first start by telling you. Yeah. So I'll ask you if you want to make me an offer, I will entertain it. and. But I agree with Damon that you came in with an ask that is very hard to reconcile with the numbers. Yep. So what is your best offer? Thank you, Daniel. You are the entrepreneur I've been admiring for years. And um, so... Um... It's going to be a yes or no answer. Okay. We'd be interested in 500000 for seven and a half percent um, plus two percent advisory share. No, I, I'm, I'm glad that I asked it this way because I would have offended you with what I had in my mind. What do you have in mind? I think uh, I'm out, but who was wrong? Okay. Good luck. Thank you, Thank you so much. Appreciate okay. it. That's tough. Stuff. We're going to prove to the Sharks that they're wrong because we're going to grow this to a billion dollars and also we're going to be in every single coffee chain, um, so in every single household in America. So, yeah, the coffee chain thing, uh, open to that, but again, I, I, I guess they have a commercial one or is this good enough to be a commercial product? Uh, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't 
scream commercial to me, but uh, I mean, I don't have it in my hands at the moment to do that. So uh, as we all know, I love seeing faces and people enjoying, but in this case, having a hand pouring the product, you know, utilizing the product is uh, a pretty good offset. And then you come down here, you got faces. Let's go. Of course, uh, I mean, with all of the money that they've spent on, uh, um, influencer marketing, I question if all of this is influencer marketing and not really customers. Cause like I see this video and I see somebody knows how to know somebody knows what they're doing to shoot a video. Right. And it seems like quite a few of these, they know, they know what they're doing. They got light, they got, uh, the angles. Yeah. Um, Hmm. You know, I, I don't like to usually call things out, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're all just influencers who are marketers, but I definitely see uh, that these people know how to shoot a video. It's, it's not them just grabbing their phones. Um, so, yeah, meet the ultimate nut milk maker. Can we can we actually get one today? Let's see, nut machines. No, nutter machines. Uh, 232 reviews, four and a half stars. That's great to see. I'm really curious. I mean, sometimes it's been a while since I've, done it but it, it, can we easily find uh can we sort by lowest rating i'm curious as to what is it do not buy i ordered two of these and i and have yet to receive them it's been six weeks that was back uh january 29th uh, if i could do zero stars i would i'm out almost 400 dollars. that's not good uh, don't purchase from this customer. Customer service does not exist. Two over two weeks to respond to my order cancellation. They ignored my first three emails, uh, and then gave an answer about how they only have an hour to cancel. You only have an hour to cancel. Had to refuse the shipment. Well, if you only I, that's one of the things. Like if you only have an hour to cancel, you better ship my product pretty quick. Uh, but if it's been two weeks and you're not, you still haven't shipped the product. Like that's not good and if you're not responsive that's really really not good so uh, they you know i i don't i, I don't I'm not doing this to dunk on um people but i do like to see uh businesses respond to negative feedback uh, i try my best to respond to negative comments as well as negative reviews for our business uh, uh part of fleet solutions but uh, and I don't know, maybe you can't, uh, respond in the, uh, in this, you know, with this program or, you know, with this website platform that you're using. Oh, there's a black one too. That's, that's nice to see. Oh, it's $89 is, is matte, matte black and rose gold. Is it oh, rose gold on the handle? Huh? Yeah, it looks nice. I don't know if it's a $20 premium. Nice, but, uh, but does look nice. Anyway, let's check out their social media, Instagram. We got 38 thousand uh followers uh quite a bit of engagement on some of these posts which is good to see uh the vegan woman summit finalist that's pretty cool that was just a week ago really really neat uh facebook uh let's see if we can refresh that uh pinterest we got 496 followers uh eight weeks ago 13 weeks ago so um not Oh, oh, they have all these. Uh, are these the same posts or these are saved? Oh, that's saved. Okay, so they are actively using it, uh, getting some uh, engagement. Over on Facebook, got 2,500 likes. Some engagement going on there. Uh, let's see. TikTok, we got 38,000 likes, uh, 8,600 followers over on the TikTok, and we got youtube always happy to see youtube 1500 subscribers over there and when it comes to videos two days ago they shot a video three weeks ago one month ago one month ago yeah so uh definitely getting some views and some traction over there i wonder if the shorts are doing better does it show okay yeah so it shows 200 views 800 views uh, not, I mean, not as many views as like they're getting over on uh, TikTok, but that's generally to be expected. Anyway, uh, Alicia and Dane, I would love to have you come on the show uh, for an interview. Just drop a comment down below. Like Jason said, great stuff, Joe. Next stop, 20,000 subscribers. We're about to hit 12,000 subscribers today, which is absolutely awesome. Hopefully, uh, the Eagles get a, uh, a win as well. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I appreciate you watching to the end. I'll see you in one of these two videos over here. Take care and Kobe super.